Now the sign that said the footpath is closed, over there, a little sign in front of the uh, water tower, uh, s said that the footpath is closed, isn't there anymore. Now either they've taken it down or people are sick of them doing what they've done, closing the footpath, in which case, in which case, uh, it may be open again, I don't know. But when I saw that they'd closed it because of essential work, nothing was actually happening. So, you know, there we go. It is what it is. It is what it is, is what we say, isn't it? There, look at that, that damn all the dog rows. Ain't they pretty? Look at them. Yes, so I'm still in betwixt and between. It's not actually going to be thunder till six, allegedly. So all that will happen is I'll get wet and cold. So I am going to take a little bit further. Yeah, all right. Got to watch out for the giant hogweed and all the scratchy things through here because, oh good grief, I've got no arms in my t-shirt and I've got shorts on. Ow! Ow! There's giant hogweed. I don't need that. I'll get ho hospitalised. Oh dear. Here we go. More dog rows. Look at those. They smell beautiful. Beautifully, probably, is a better way of saying it. They smell... Oh, they've got a nice fragrance. Oh, look at this through here. I should bring some snippers through here to cut some of these bits and pieces off. I've got stung and I've been scratched. The roses are lovely, but... Oh dear. But we haven't said thank you yet. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing and ringing the bell and all that jazz. Oh my word, look at this. That's beautiful. It's all so beautiful. And, um... Yes. Um, there's the corn, and there's the, yeah, I got stung and scratched, that was fairly special that was, said nobody. And I didn't say thank you so much for all those who've subscribed. There's a real uh, appreciation for you folks. Thank you so much. And as I often say, you want to make an old man jump with delight? Please subscribe if you haven't already. So onwards and, uh, and downwards. It's going down a hill here. Uh, wheat in the field here. Might be barley, but I'm not a farmer, so I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's gone. There was a small tortoise shell butterfly, a little butterfly, yes, but he's gone off now. A bit like me, really. Look at that lovely field. Isn't that beautiful? I'm a lot happier out here than I was indoors, sweltering. It's extremely muggy here in the UK. I'm on the outskirts of Coventry at the moment, UK, and uh, I'm longing to be able to travel and see all our friends in Europe. But of course now it's lots more complicated. And I just ought to say thank you for Brexit voters for that. Thank you very much. That's so kind. I'm sure you don't go abroad, but we do every summer and it's a real problem. But I, you are entitled to... Uh, what you think and I would support you in having that right. So onwards we go. Now we've got a, another dodgy bit here. More giant hogweed. That, that's really not nice. That's the hogweed. That's worse than getting scratched or stung 
people don't know, this looks like it's been weed killed. How odd, look at that. Yeah, oh well, such is life. Um, yes, that giant hogweed, please be aware of it. If I see one on its own, I'll show you what it looks like because it's very important not to get those little prickles on your skin. They will put blains on your skin and you will end up ho hospitalized. They're, they're a nasty, invasive species of plant. If you have a species of plant, I don't think you do really, do you? Oh, look at these. What are they? I don't know. But they're rather nice, aren't they? No idea what they are. I know what these are, these purple ones here. These are digitalis foxgloves. Maybe those other ones were, but they just were in a bad, bad way. Yeah, digitalis. Yeah, I think they are. That's what the other ones look like. I think they've dried out. I think that's what it is. They've got the same leaves. Aren't they lovely? Look. Digitalis. I still can't make out what's happened here with this field. I, th I think it must have been weed killed or something. Look, you wouldn't get the whole field dying when, when the crops next door are doing so well. That's the giant hogweed. There. There's some with similar flowers, but this, if you look on the stems, just look on the stems, tiny little hairs. And uh, they are what give you all give you all the blains. Look, there's quite a few along here. There are some uh, plants that have got a similar white flower, perfectly harmless. Yeah, there's another one. Look at the leaves, look. Keep right away from them, they're really bad news. A little buzzy bee's on the top, he's enjoying them. Oh look, he's going the wrong way. He's very, very, he's going towards the dry. He's going to dry out if he's not careful. Well, oh, I just saw another uh, butterfly. Oh, where is he? He's over there. Can I? Yeah, he goes. Where's he going to land? He's got... I, I'm always amazed with butterflies. They don't seem to have a flight plan. They so, But they do, because when you see them looking for a mate, they fly in unison and buzz around all over the place. So they really, they really can guide themselves, but mostly they just seem to be flip-flapping all over the place. But uh, there we are. Now, at the, right at the back there, over there, that's the Greenway. And uh, there was a put a stop down here somewhere to us going to the Greenway. I'm probably going to go as far as the next sign. If the next sign is down, I will know that you can get to the Greenway. I can hear some more peeps coming. Can't see them. But the, the wind is coming from that direction. It's not a big wind, but it's traveling sound. So more. Now those are pink dog roses. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, voices are coming from way over there. It travels on the uh, on the wind. It's not a heavy wind, but it's enough to drift the voices. I've just found out that um, my friend down in Chelmsford is going to be doing some uh, performance for charity with a hoop, but she also eats fire and does aerial hoop work, uh, which we can go and see uh, in uh, the week after next, I think it is. So... Uh, that's going to be oh, Saturday week, I think, so we'll be able to see her performing. I don't know what's happened here either, look. It's just been left. I suppose it might be the fallow year. You leave it for a year, let the ground recoup, have some weeds, and, and, and then plough them all in. But thank you for watching. This is the Rambling Rambler, Dave to his friends. Bye.